The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He really got a hold of that kick. They'll bring him down at the 20. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They'll bring him down at the 35. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Scrambling. Got some open field. Room around the corner. He's taken down around the 46 yard line. That was a great decision to take off. He saw a little bit of room open up and he knew he could get the first. Strike to his receiver, no good. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 46. Makes the catch and look out. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 37 yard line. catch there before he stepped out of bounds. And a quick throw. He's tackled at the 17-yard line. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 17. Flips it, middle to the running back. Tackles around the 14-yard line. He's going to come up shy of the first down marker, guys. Had that not been a great defensive effort, he would have easily gotten there. Texas Tech could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Buffaloes, in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident. Boss is left, intercepted. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. In your face. From the 39-yard line, first down. Texas Tech holds a field goal lead. Set. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He's knocked out of bounds around the 35-yard line. That's a gain of four on the way. That makes it 37. He's on the run. 
And he didn't get enough for the first. Now, Brad, he's going to come up short here. The defense does a nice job of not allowing the ball carrier to get out into the open. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. Going long. Incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. If you spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go, you got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Got a man in and out of his hands. From their own 31-yard line, it's third down. Steps up. He's going to go for the home run. Knocked down. Incomplete. Coach is going to have to be happy with that one. The defender was in the right position to make the play. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. He's out to the 30. Gets out to about the 31. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far, Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses just, just to dominate the game. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. Hey, Brad, remember the last time this offense came out of the field? Of course, they went for it on fourth down. Sometimes it drives me crazy when we call all of these games and these guys out here go for it all the time on fourth down. Here's a message. If it's longer than fourth and five, just consider a field goal or a punt. Tackle made around the 39-yard line. That makes it second and two. Texas Tech is up by three. There's a strike complete, and he's taken down at the 36. Gain of three on the pass, and that's good for a first down. Good look there from the quarterback, dumping it off and coming away with a new set of downs. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Nice run there. That'll make it second and four. It out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's level at the 18 yard line. Throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. And he's tackled right away. Gain of two. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Texas Tech's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with a kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their mind. They just need to go out there and play. Wide receiver screenplay, and he's tackled at the 29.
That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. That's a team 14 yards on the ground. That makes it first and 10. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And down he goes, right around midfield. Number five makes the tackle at the 50-yard line. That'll make it second and four. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. The Red Raiders in front by six. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Big opening. He's at the 40. Brought down at the 28-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Had protection, now scrambles. He's looking for six. Almost intercepted. Unbelievable. He had a pick in the end zone, and it just slipped right through his hand. Wow. He is really kicking himself after that one. Gets it out complete again to his tight end. And he tackles him hard at the 14. Gain 14 yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 14. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. From the two-yard line, second down. to take the lead. Here's the extra point. And he converts the extra point. A nice nine play, 74-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Colorado lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. They've got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Throws a bullet over the middle. Is it and it's picked out of the sky. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. First and ten. Ball on the 46. Colorado with a one-point lead. Hand off to the right. Good outside run there. On the tackle. Call it a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Time right, time right. Four down, four down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Back 
tackled after a decent pickup. That's a gain of five on the play. From the 35 yard line, first down. Here's a handoff, left side. They'll bring him down right around the 34. That brings up second to nine. Man, watch out here. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Check tight right, tight right. From the 24 yard line, it's first down. Three down, three down. Go. He makes the catch and has a first down. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Four down, four down. Here we go. Watch seven. Watch seven. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. He's into the open field. No one open, so he's going to run. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He fires. That's incomplete. Remember, this is college football. All you need is one foot down to be able to make this catch. This time, the wide receiver is just too close to the boundary, not allowing himself to get either his left or right foot down. Man, this is tough going for this quarterback. Next time out, he needs to just relax. Think back to all those practices and not worry about what's happened in this game up to now. Oh, excellent punt. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. The Buffaloes obviously have built their offense around this guy. And through two quarters, everything's working, Herbie. But, you know, you can't just rely on one guy. And he's got to be careful a little bit in the third and fourth quarter, too. Well, you want to keep pushing. I mean, he's off to a great start. His offense is obviously off to a great start. It's a four-quarter game. And, you know, the opponent's going to try to get back into this game, take some chances. So if this running back is smart, he'll continue to challenge himself, his offensive line, and the entire offense, continue to try to put more points up on the board. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 32. Colorado holds an eight-point advantage. And he's going to be sacked. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Under pressure. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. Quarterback picked up a yard at best there on the scramble. It's third and long. Ball on the 21-yard line. Five wide. He airs it out. Down the 
sideline. He got it. Touchdown, Buffaloes. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. In the shotgun and five wideouts. his man and they take him down immediately he ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage it's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play gets it off as he's hit complete they'll wrestle him down in the backfield drop back four yards on that one this defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes so the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play he fights forward to about the 26. they might have been able to catch the defense off guard with a play action pass there but by going to the ground they didn't have much of an open he really got a hold of that one. Signals for a fair catch. Colorado's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. Takes the counter left. Tackle around the 29-yard line. That's a game, game of two, two on the play. play. That'll, That'll make, make it second and seven. seven. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Four down, four down. Seven to Mike, Mike seven. Run right side. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Certainly not what we expected as we head to halftime. 21-6, Buffaloes. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This first half could be much more than just 30 minutes of football. The adage is one game at a time, no game more important than any other game. You get the feeling that this game could make a team season and destroy the other team season. No doubt about it, and for both reasons. But when you look on the one side, the positive side, sometimes it takes you pulling that big upset, that big win to believe in yourself. And I remember back when I was at Georgia, my freshman year, we'd go to Knoxville and beat Tennessee. First year with Coach Rick. And you didn't think that you could do it. You know, he, he kept preaching to you how good your team was, but you didn't believe it until you beat a team that was much better than you. So you can definitely take this and launch as a program, continue to take that step and go to the next level, especially when you're a big underdog. You could step on somebody's face with a hobnail boot and break their nose. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up they need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Four down, seven's the mic. 
Tackle made at the 28. He wasn't decisive at all in that option. Once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's under pressure. And he just gets rid of it. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 36. Caught and he's hit immediately. Space to work, and he's tackled at the 49 yard line. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. He's into the open field. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. That's good for a game at 26 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 46. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Number 18 was the intended receiver of the play. That makes it second and 10. Four down, four down. Seven's the mic. Take go. Lock it go. And he throws it away. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. He's under pressure. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to
to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down around the 35-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. receiver and it's knocked away. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Caught with room to work, and they make the stop at the 46. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Gets it out quickly. They'll bring him down at the 45. That makes it second and two. It's recovered, and he carries the ball for a nice game. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. And he is drilled at the 49. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. and he's got room here. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. That's good for the game. That makes it 37. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at the 21. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Go to the left for a nice game. So at the end of three, Colorado leads it 21 6. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Larry, Larry, Larry! 43 the mic! Strip the ball! I said it! Check, check, check! Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three yard line. Scrambling. Tackle made at the one yard line. Hard to get two yards. That brings us fourth and goal. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's on the run, and he's sacked. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut him down.
Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They come out in a goal line set. Fires quickly to the tight end, and he's tackled right away. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. And that's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. They'll knock him down for a loss. It's third down. They're deep in their own territory. They line up in the jumbo set. And he's taken down at the 13. He makes a catch and has a first down. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. That's a D 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and 10. Ten. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Less than three minutes in the game. They'll run it. Gets out to around the 48. This is the eighth play of this drive. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. He gets another set of downs, and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. He fights forward to about the 43. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. It's second and nine. Ball on the 43 yard line. Gets out to around the 35. A gain of eight on the carry. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Texas Tech's called their final timeout. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. It's got the distance, and he splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. The offense comes back out, and as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. And he tackles him hard at the 37. Number 16 brings him down the 37-yard line. Just over a minute left. And he hits him hard at the 29-yard line. That'll make it second and long. Oh, 
The spike will stop the clock. It's third and long. Ball on their own 29. It's intercepted, and that should do it. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. From the 43 yard line. Down second down. down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Go. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score 24 to 6, Buffalo. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.